The summer plans right now. There are three things to think about, including what's called the digital double standard. This one's really tough for parents. While parents set those standards and limits on screen time for their kids, they themselves aren't living up to those standards. Kids can't be what they can't see. So the more that you can model positive behavior for them when it comes to screen time and posting uh, uh, to social media or protecting privacy, I think it's those key like fundamentals you want to model for them. Besides modeling the positive use of tech, as a family come up with an agreement, a collective standard to follow together. One great example of this is a mom um, who has two teenage daughters and she told me when she gave them a screen time limit, um, she gave herself a screen time limit. Lara says social media education is the new driver's ed. It's a tool that can be used positively or negatively. As soon as students have access to social media, it's something that they need proactive education around. Like they need to know how to play to their core values. They need to know how to protect their privacy, um, how to strike a balance, how to have each other's backs or to navigate cyberbullying, um, how to handle different pressures. All of this is wrapped up in like the 21st century version of, of driver's ed. You need to have conversations prior to giving your kids access to their own device or use of social media. Now as summer approaches, Laura says parents are always thinking the same thing, how to balance screen time. My biggest advice to families is to lean into the tools that technology provides to not only help your child strike a balance, but to help yourself strike a balance as well. In-app features like Google Wellbeing, Apple screen time settings, or do not disturb can be helpful. At the end of the day, Laura says, you know your child best. Go with your gut on what he or she needs. The big question parents often ask is, when should their child have access to social media? What many parents aren't aware of is that the minimum age limit for most social media platforms is 13. It's because of something called COPA, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, and it's all about privacy. So there is no one size fits all. Again, you know your child best. Also, this graph can be a helpful guide. The screen time pyramid is like a food pyramid and you have your shared experiences on the bottom, kind of like your grains, like you use technology to connect with other loved ones. And then you can use social media and technology to actively learn and actively socialize over the summer when school's not in session. And then you could create content and like express yourself. But I feel like screen time gets a bad rap when you think about passive viewing at the top and like how children just like gravitate to passive viewing, like YouTube wormhole and Netflix, like binge watching Netflix series. I know it's tough, but you know, again, the takeaway is not all screen time is equal. So we do all these studies and stories and parents, I think, feel this pressure like, oh, I have to do this mm -hmm. and that. And it's just figure out what works.